Hey guys, so what we've just done now is we're back at the warehouse and I'm gonna create the invoice for the customer. The good thing about Carton Cloud is we could actually have all of our customers on weekly or on monthly invoices, depending on whatever we want, but we can actually go into each individual customer and we could have one on uh, every month, one being created automatically every, every day, one every week if we wanted to. This one here, I've actually come in and I've created it myself because I just wanna get it out the door straight away. So what we can actually see here is I'm in the invoice and we're in the details and you can see here that we've got the freight income, we've got the pick and pack, we've got the fuel levy and bits and pieces. If I go to the purchase orders, which was our inwards, and you guys saw me when I brought in the inwards and put the labels on, etc. So here you can see I've got a couple of inwards and you can see I've got an income here of $2 for one and, and 46 for another. So one was one pallet and then I had a whole heap of pallets on another one. So then we go to the sales orders, which is our goods outwards. And as you can see here, I've got two sales orders. One's come in at $11.96 and another one is just a, a real simple one at 90 cents. But if I go over and open up one of these sales orders, this is the one we did for Rhonda's Pies where we picked the four pails. So over here on the right hand side, you could see that it's got four units at a dollar each and it calculates all of that automatically. But the really good thing is over here on the left hand side where we've got the ad hoc charges, this is where on the mobile app, when we were doing the picking, we actually put in there that we wanted the, the ad hoc charges as four labeling fee and we submitted the charges. And it actually brings it straight through to the web application so it does it all automatically. So it gives the guys on the floor a lot more power than what they're used to. So now if I go to the invoice, we've done our inwards, we've done our outwards, I can also go to the consignments. So here you can see I've got four consignments in here, ranging from $600 down to $18. And you can see this last one was the one we did for Biz Video, which was the Rhonda's Pies delivery of one carton. So then if we go up, what we can actually do is then we can go to our storage periods and we can see that we've got a whole heap of storage here. So if I go back to the details page, what I can actually do is download the summary. So we can sort of get a lot more information from this spreadsheet before we actually send it off to the customer. So here we are on the spreadsheet. You can see here that it's Bob's groceries and we've got a breakdown of, of everything there. But the good thing is what it actually does is it gives us all of the different bits and pieces for a breakdown of down here and you can see the warehouse summary, you can see the sales orders, you can see the purchase orders, our transport summary, a breakdown of all of our consignments. So it actually has so much information in there that your customers really don't need to contact you and ask for any more because we've given it all to them. So then what I can do is I could just automatically hit email invoice to customer. What this then does is it will go through, it will grab that summary, it will grab all the details, it will grab your PDF if you have Xero or Myob or, or your accounting connector, it will grab that in, drag it through, send it straight through to the customer and once again we've got a hyperlink in the middle of that email so that the customers can go straight to Carton Cloud and get their PODs if that's what they want for that one invoice.